Welcome to more Neverwinter Nights 2. I am your host, the Game Hoarder, and today is my birthday. I feel like playing a little Neverwinter Nights. We have a lead on the lizard men and where they are. I think we've Whoa. had enough of this one. Hurry, hurry. That's right, disappear! Heading to the Lizard Folk Cave! Whoa! How can I help? De Gras. Take a bolt to the dome piece. Yes. What the hell? Got him! Take some thieves tools. Fall in behind me here. Very well. 
Got him! Critical hit. Got him! I think we've had enough of this one. Haste it and baste it. Holy shit, Keldar Iron Fist is a demon! Welcome to the Dwarven Ghetto! Fall in behind me here. Yes. Still hasting. Get on it. Holy shit! Dwarf isn't playing, man. Hmm. Nice little place to rest. Rest our weary bones, thank you. I don't think I want to try the meat. Follow me. Plus one spear. Very well. Everybody, follow me. Yes. The 
Dexterity decreased. Okay, whatever. What? Showed up. Take that! Take that! Time for a little fun! Take that! Take that! I'll take uh. care of this. Magic stuff. Very well. I am overburdened. Everybody, Perhaps follow you me. Should bear some of my load. What? If you identify it all, sure. Heart of the Beast. Normally created by clerics of Malar. This item has begun to appear in the hands of others. This item is the heart of a predatory animal, smoked and magically cured. The heart confers the effects of divine power spell upon the creature that eats it. Okay. And White's Morning Star. These weapons were first used by White's Legion, a fighting company so disciplined that when they marched, their synchronized front line appeared to be a single entity. When these tight formations met the enemy line, they would seem to fall back deliberately, exposing themselves to attack and naturally drawing the enemy inward. The illusion of enemy progress was shattered when a score of Morning Star struck at once, beating them down as the Legion closed around them. The parry bonus, enhancement bonus, and electrical bonus. Wand of paralyzation. Are you just started using plus one bolts without asking my permission? I don't think so. Shadow Priest Journal. Countless soldiers slain by my masters so long ago rest in the soil of these ruins as I exhume the bodies and confer upon them with the blessing of eternal servitude to our cause. I cannot help but feel a great delight. These men once drew their swords against the rightful ruler of all things, and now, now they awake to serve the very same king they defied in life. I cannot help but wonder if the citizens of Highcliffe and Fort Lock would recognize their kin in the bone-white faces of my troops. I shall know the answer in less than a week's time as my forces are ready to march. Blessed be our great king. The small of the pouch bulges with gold coins. It contains a scrap of paper with the words reserved for Moza Highcliffe. Moza might not be getting that back, though. We can level now. Doing some research on the Pale Master. Uh, it seems it's not the greatest of all builds if, if you're trying to like min-max and have the super ultimate character, but thematically, I like it. So we're going to keep going with it. And let's see here. Spells per day, bone skin. So at level four, that's going to get better. A second level pale mask can animate dead as a spell like ability once per day. Oh, hell yeah. Get dark vision at third level. And we can summon undead at fourth level. Fifth level. Become pre. Preternaturally tough and resilient. Plus four bonus on uh, fortitude. Six level, we get undead graft. We'll look at those more as we get there. I don't want to spoil the surprises.
There we go. Get our intimidate up. Crafting up. No new spells that time. Might have some new slots. I'm listening. Though. This druid bitch, we don't even give a fuck here. Whatever, man. God. All your normal shit, obviously. Yes. Yes. Quick levels. Not a lot of feats or anything going on. Trap sense plus two. Plus one on reflex saves made to avoid traps. Rises plus one at six level and every three levels after that. Um, let's see. Improved parry is not too bad. Sure, it has weapon finesse. Nimble fingers, plus two to open locks and disarm traps. You could definitely use toughness. Everyone can use toughness. Dodge is also a good one. Let's go with dodge. It suits her. Behind me here. I don't want to waste that. We'll save it. Just wanted to see how to get to it, eh? Everybody, follow me! We probably should be. You're the one that sees all the traps and shit. Like that stuff. Get him! I'm listening. Yes. Everyone, follow me. Yes.
1d8 and 1d6. I mean, that's pretty awesome. Yes. Let's see what they're made of! Smoked them. Take that! The land is against you! Looks like the final room here. We'll go ahead and get a rest in. Very well. Chieftain. I like me for green. Skeleton warrior! That didn't work out right. That was weird. Healed himself. Oh, that didn't help too much for him, did it? Oh, shucks. Should have grabbed the healer's kid off your buddy here. Very well. Helmet done identified. It's a major circlet of blasting found occasionally among the Badin. These helms bear elaborate golden band circling the head, which looks like a sun disk when viewed from above. On command, the band projects a blast of Syrian light three times per day. Centurion records of helms captured from the Badin suggest that they are a lesser artifact from days of the Nethereal. Neth uh, Syrian light. Well, I'm not taking off my awesome shit for it. How can I help? Thief can wear it. And then she can go... Tiefling... No. Oh. 
Uh, okay, just right click the item. If I ever remember, I'm wearing it, of course. Trapped door. The halberd there. She's getting a plus 13 and plus 14 on her disarmament open, so she's doing all right. What? I am overburdened. Perhaps you should bear Ravager some of plus my one. Load. This weapon bears the mark of the dwarf Marak, Master Blacksmith. It's a 1d10 halberd that does sonic damage. Yes. Get that one-handed feed. I can attack with it and use the shield. Should be pretty cool. Fall in behind yeah. right here. What? You've slain the lizard folk chieftain and thrown the clan into disarray. High cliff ships and fishing boats should be safe from further sabotage, at least for a while. We should report your success to Elder May. We came, we saw, and we kicked lizard folk ass. Getting in my cardio. I totally didn't see that. Back to High Cliff. Have you had any news regarding the lizard folk? I killed the lizard folk chieftain. The attack should stop now. We must ensure the lizard folk do not return. I'll gather men and lead an attack on their lair to drive away any who remain. Try not to get killed. Now I have a ship to catch.
Everyone's here to see me off. I don't see William with you. Have you not found him? We found this wedding band on a corpse. Did this belong to William? William, I knew it. I just knew it. I must let the elder know that he has blood on his hands. How did it happen? Did you take care of whatever killed him? I did what you asked. I found him. I'm waiting for a reward. Here, take all I have. No amount of gold can replace my husband. I, I don't know what to do. I've relied on William for so long. Who will take care of the children and the farm? Just give me a reward and I'll be on my way. Here, take all that I have. No amount of gold can replace my husband. I appreciate the effort you made on my behalf. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to be alone a while. Good for you. She gave me 200 gold twice. Thanks so much for finding the boys. Yes, again, you show me the meaning of courage. Your mother bless you. There's a reward, I hope. Without question, for what you've done, Jara and I owe you the lives of our entire family. And you shall be raised to, raised to have the same honor and character that you possess. He will learn from your deeds. Are you sure that's a good idea? I don't understand. What do you mean by that? Your stories. I should kill you before you put any more ideas into the children's head. What? No, don't hurt me. I didn't mean any harm with the tales. And just what have you been telling him, Zakan? This is rather embarrassing. I want my son to grow up with the courage that I lack. I was hoping that he'd find you and you a role model. So can you fool, do you truly believe that of yourself? The two of us are going to need to have a little talk. If you're going to tell them stories, at least tell them stories about me. I'll strive to be more prudent with my tales in the future. Please accept this gift from the two of us. We are forever in your debt. I want more than an amulet. This amulet was handed down to my father and from my father to myself. I've not seen any use for generations now. I entrust it to you. Gara and I can also pay you some gold. We were saving, saving the money for a new horse to plow in the fields, but the mo money is nothing next to the safety of our son. We won't take up any more of your time. Thanks again for bringing Andrew back. You'll forever be in our prayers. I need to sell shit too. Dario.
Good to see you in one piece. Any sign of my employers? Your employers are dead, and whatever killed them looted them. As well, your money's gone. You sure? Not even a few coins left. Damn my luck. Well, thanks for the help. I'm off. May your journey go well. So we get to keep the 500 gold, and we get experience still. For being the shady of the shadiest. I think it's time to travel to Neverwinter. But I'm going to sell first. BRB. Alright, all tidied up. The amulet we got from Elder Main is yes. nothing too special. Or Zakan, rather. Not from Elder, from Zakan. It is plus one constitution and plus one to will saving throws. We gave that to Nishka because our other guys are good to go on amulets. Very well. Ah, there you are. We took up a collection here in the village. We have a surprise for you. There's enough there to pay for your passage to Neverwinter. It's not a lot, but you've done so much. We've had to find some way to show our appreciation. I'd also like you to have this armor. It's been in our village for generations and hasn't seen much action. I thought you might be able to put it to better use. This is the best you could do? I'm afraid so. We are not wealthy people, but we can do what we can do. Your actions have shifted you three points towards evil. That ought to keep me evil. Humble rewards from a grateful village. Thank you again. Now I believe you have a ship to board. Safe travels. Time for Neverwinter. Arr, my stomach's already starting to churn. How long's this trip? Oh, do be quiet, Kelga. Enjoy the waves while you can. I'll say, it'll be nice to travel without being hunted for once. The shard you have found, show it to me. Yes, Sieri? Sieri? Is that what you sought? No. It is much more. Forget the betrayer. Forget our vengeance. These shards, they must all be found. Whatever forces you need, we shall grant you. But these shards must be ours. Of course, Zieri. It shall be done. Dalrin. Lord Dalrin now, I hear. Who's there? Come now. You remember? Has it really been so long? You... But, but you died at the Battle at West Harbor. Delayed, perhaps. My imprisonment was most distressing. But... Dead? Now how could I die with so much left unfinished? And there is so much more left to do.
Welcome to Neverwinter. So this is Neverwinter? Suppose it's possible for a city built by humans. Can't say I care for it, though. You want a proper city, you build down, not up. This place feels unnatural. The wood and stone, it's as if they've been silenced. I wish you'd both be silent. The entire trip was just one long whine from the two of you. Oh, me stomach feels funny. This boat rocks like a baby's cradle. This water is so unnatural and deep, not like the swamp of dead people I grew up in. Not that I've got great memories of this place, but it's home. So, where are we going first? <laughs> Mishka's got him! There's no hurry, let's explore a little. Is that wise? We are still being hunted, and without the land to warn us when enemies are close, we could be placing ourselves in danger. Tree worshippers, right? Besides, I could use a good stiff drink to drown out the memory of that boat trip. My uncle's inn should be close by. Let's head there first. I say lead the way. Besides, I'd welcome a stable bed after being trapped on that filthy excuse for a boat. Sunken flag. Let's check out this armor of loyalty. When he angered a rival enchanter, the wizard Makari came under repeated attack from his own charmed or dominated bodyguards. This was expensive as well as dangerous, so he set about trying to counter the threat in a way that would not mean constantly killing his own men. With armor of this type, Makari considered his men above reproach. He was proven wrong when his own lieutenant murdered him in a dispute over back wages. Light armor, so you can still get a dex bonus of five. Immune to charm and dominate. Might be good for our yes. thief. You can wear that for now. Yeah. We need to get you some better armor there, buddy. Chainmail? Shit. Very well. So this is kind of like my home base of operations here. You can see all the party members kind of do their own thing while you're in here. Well now, what can I do for you? Bit of venom for the belly, perhaps? Or maybe a tankard or two to shave the edge off your day? I'm looking for my Uncle Duncan. Uncle Duncan? Oh, well, that sounds a bit familiar. If you're here to collect on some debt, I'll tell you that Duncan's a drunk fool without two coppers to his name. Where in the night hells is he? I don't have time to waste. Hey, maybe you need to calm down, friend. Coming in here barking like an old dog isn't gonna make any doors open for you. 
Dagon sent me. Dagon, eh? So the time's come, has it? Trouble is chasing on your heels, and you barely know why. Suppose Dagon told you less than half of what you need to know, then sent you packing. Don't take it hard. Done it to me twice in my life. All for good reason. I can probably guess why you're here, but why don't you go ahead and tell me anyway? Dagon told me to seek you out. That you might know something of the silver shards recovered from the battle at West Harbor. Oh, did he? Nothing more than I did years ago. Plain silver near as we could tell. You and those shards were all that were left of that West Harbor battle. Duncan, I thought you said that shard was magic, didn't you? Trace of an enchantment on it is what that eel sand said. But nothing of importance. Probably residue from demon's fire or maybe wizard magic. Demon's fire? Sounds important to me. And that, Sal, is why you are cleaning tables and I own this place. Those shards were magic, yes, a trace. But again, it was sand. And he's a fool! Anyway, barely worth mentioning. More sentimental value than anything else. That really why you came all this way? To hear about your mother? Who's sand? A hedge wizard. Somehow set up shop on the docks. But it's telling enough he can only run a business down here in the crack of Neverwinter. Got a dry wit, and he'll always rub you the wrong way. So his name's well chosen. Still, I suppose I trust him enough. And having a wizard close by certainly tends to keep fools from causing too much trouble. Well, me and Dagon took the shard to him back when he lived in the Merchant Quarter, before his run of bad luck. But he couldn't get much from it. Just faint traces. Well, it's got power now. Maybe he can get another read from it. Can I see the other shard? Here. I've always kept it close for some reason. Didn't want to leave it out of my sight. Seemed unremarkable. But I find that sometimes time will tell. Had Sand examined it a long time ago, but... He turned up nothing. Maybe he can look at these again. Well, it's worth a shot. But don't pay him any coin in advance, that's all I'll say. In fact, that viper would be best off- Ah, it seems I've arrived just in time to deflect the usual barrage of slander from the local innkeeper. Sand. Yes, it is good to see you're still sober enough to recognize me, Duncan. Pass the- Stale beer, vinegar, faint sweat, failed aspirations. Unwashed tunic? I thought perhaps you had already had one tankard too many for the day, but... Why? Your guest here has the smell of a harbin in about them. Faint. But there... I thought Duncan was keeping company too good for him. Now I see I was right. Duncan, you could learn a few things from your guest. Hmm. Still passing off those two copper fairweather charms to the local sand? You have no appreciation for my talents and after all I've done for you. To think you could survive a fortnight without my ale purgative. Why, you would be buried in the tombs with the rest of the Neverwinter traitors. A betrayer of barkeepers everywhere. But enough about you and your adventurous exploits on the tavern floor. I heard my name mentioned, and oddly enough, almost in a tone that suggested I could help. This here's Kin. I'm not really seeing the family resemblance. And we need your help concerning the shard. Both of them. Shard? That chunk of silver you showed me so long ago? Hmm, I do hope you're not going to try to pawn it to me again. I am no longer interested. Besides, as I recall, you said the piece of junk had sentimental value, which upon viewing your establishment is perfectly understandable. Besides, didn't your uncle or cousin or brother or whatever make off with the other shard? I thought you only had one now. It found its way back, so to speak. We need you to look at both of them again. Properly this time. Oh, very well. Give them here and let me see what my keen arcane senses can determine. Whoa! Well, it seems to have some resentment to being scried. That is quite different than last time. Are you sure these are the same shards? The power in them? Why, it's definitely stronger than last time. Much stronger. Oh, so now they're magical. I'm not paying you for two failed divinations, you charlatan. It's not a matter of divination, you one tank and drunk. There is something about these shards. Without knowing their history, even my considerable talents cannot unlock their mysteries. So 
who would know about the Shard's history? You could try and speak to Aldenon, but I don't think you'd have much luck reaching him. The Black Lake District is closed down. Aldenon lives in the Black Lake District, you see, and now he's trapped there. The Watch has it locked tight. No one going in or out, no messages in or out, even for the nobles that used to live there. Quite cryptic, really. The Black Lake District was shut down. I heard about that. Lord Dalrin was killed, wasn't he? I've heard rumors, but no official word of what happened. As have I. Not only are the Watch not talking about it, but they even called in the Cloak Tower mages to investigate, which means sorcery or demons were at work. Demons? Closest I've ever come to demons is Dagon's tales about the battles down south near West Harbor, when there was that trouble with the King of Shadows. King of Shadows? Some sorcerer, I believe, had a number of demons and shadows at his beck and call. Not many tales left about that period of Neverwinter history, oddly enough. But you say this Aldenon might know more, Sand? <sighs> well, if you're not a member of the Watch, or know a secret route into Black Lake, then you're out of luck. So it seems like you have no choice but to let me examine the shards at my leisure. I'll need to hold on to them, of course. Wait. Watch or secret route. Not bad ideas. Either way, the coin lands. Hell, there's Marshal Cormac. He's currently at the city watch post, and I know he's in bad need of an extra sword arm down at the docks. Cormac from Fort Locke? Yes, I heard he got back to Neverwinter recently. Surprised he even made it with the troubles I've heard around Fort Locke. Trust me, you don't know the half of it. Cormac's a harborman, too. And folks of the harbor are as close to kin as you can get out of the mare. He might be able to take you into the watch. And from there, speaking to Aldenon shouldn't be too hard. Is there any other way? What if I don't want to join the watch? Then you need to find another route into the Black Lake District. And that means dealing with other folks that try to control the docks. Moya and her gang. Oh, there's an idea, Duncan. They probably were behind the watch closing the Black Lake District in the first place. Not my first choice, but if I had to speak to her, how would I? Well, she's got thugs all over the docks. But finding one who can get you to her? There's Caleb. He used to try to get me to pay him gold for protection before I told him about the wards I had inscribed on the building that caged the Guardian Elementals. Long story, but quick resolution. Caleb, maybe. But I don't trust that harbor rat to give you a fair deal. And the price will be steep, in bodies or coin. He doesn't like being the only one with blood on his hands. <laughs> doesn't sound like someone we should put our faith in. Obviously, you've never dealt with the Watch in Neverwinter, Kelgar. Dealing with Caleb is probably our best chance. Still, the chances are simply talking to Caleb will make you want to kill him, so it seems a clear win to me. If you do speak to him, though, be sure to do it downwind. The City Watch isn't a place for me. I'll try Caleb first, even if it means I need to stab a few people along the way. Well, as long as I get a chance to take their purse first. Besides, joining the Watch? Ugh. If we have to, we have to, but I don't have to like it. I'd prefer being part of a stand-up fight than one from the shadows. So, where's this Caleb you mentioned? Caleb should be lounging around the corner east along the main road. Just follow the smell. If you want to join with him, he'll probably ask you to hurt or kill someone, so be warned. I'll mark both on your map. Help you get your bearings. Well, you can certainly find your way into trouble from here. Me, I will head back to my lonely merchant existence. Should you need my expertise, simply ask. But just in case, bring a great deal of gold as well. Well, there you have it. Talk to Caleb or Cormac. Cormac is at the watch post near the Dolphin Bridge. Caleb should be lounging down the street east along the main road. The docks don't see too much of the arcane. I guarantee your talents can make an impact, for or against the watch. But while you're here, feel free to make yourself at home. Also, any friend of yours is a friend of mine. Your companions are welcome to stay here as well. Even if you're off on some other journey like the one that sent you here. They're all welcome to make themselves at home whenever they're not traveling with you. That way you'll know where to find them if you need their help later. <laughs> Sound good? Lots of trophies on the walls here. Yep, a lot of stories hanging on these walls. 
Shed a lot of my own blood, and others in the past. Now it all goes into the flagon. Were you an adventurer? Well, if you can call it that. Me and some old friends, now gone. Made quite a company along the coast. There were five of us to start, but by the end there was just me. Can you tell me any story? Story time, story time! I could, but they wouldn't go anywhere. Shucks. And there wouldn't be any tension in them, since you know I survived anyway. Now Dagon, he may have some tales for you. About your mother, too. What can you tell me about Dagon and my mother? Only as much as Dagon allows. He keeps his past close, despite how it keeps everyone else from him. I knew your mother, though. I know you lost her early. Terrible tragedy. During that attack on the village. But that's really Dagon's place to say, not mine. So since we uh, joined uh, the the cat purses with the rogues team, we gained influence with Nishka there, Nishka, and we lost with Kelgar there. It happens. Might as well use the good chick until I find someone better. Wait. <laughs> the fuck is everybody? adding them, not removing them. There we go. coming out of nowhere. Look at that sneak attack. And again. Minding my business, getting attacked by bladelings here in the streets of Neverwinter. You guys look like trouble. Yes. That shit. Bonaparte. Why 
are you casting it on me? Yes. Yes. I am listening. Oh, uh, now I'm really confused. Coming back to the city was a mistake, Nishka. You didn't think you'd slip in unnoticed, did you? No. I'm just surprised it took you this long to notice. So who's wasting their money on you this time, Benin? If you've got a problem with her, you've got a problem with me. That's right, Benin. You... You think I'd come back without some muscle on my side? Well, you thought wrong, and I'm still waiting for an answer. You're too stupid to come here on your own. So who sent you? Leldon's still got a bounty out on you, goat girl. He's even up the price for those horns. Find another bounty. This one won't be easy to collect on. So what'll it be, Benin? Run now, or let me remove that empty head from your neck? Brave talk, girl, but your luck's run out. I'm gonna send you back to the Nine Hells, where your kind belongs. Hey, home is where the heart is. And I'm staying right here in Neverwinter. My tears right, Botic. Fall in behind me here. Was he attacking me? Attack Nishka. Right. Looks like Leldon's in for more disappointment. That was fun. That's the spirit. A little battle was all we need to get the blood pumping. Almost wish they lasted a little longer. <laughs> so I take it this Leldon's not a friend of yours. <laughs> Leldon still can't admit that he's the second best thief in Neverwinter. He's taken things a little too personally, if you ask me. There's more to it than that if he's trying to kill you. Well, Leldon and I pulled a job about a year ago. Big haul, too. You should have been there. I was brilliant. So we get back to our hideout and start to divide up the loot, and that's when old Leldon demands a bigger share. You didn't think he deserved it? I'm the one who got us past the guards and past the trap at the vault. Leldon was just baggage. He claims he planned it all. Not much of a plan if you don't know what the guard patrol routes or that the vault is trapped. If it weren't for me, he would have never have gotten past the front door. Go on, I want to hear the rest. So anyway. There's Leldon demanding a bigger share, and he's definitely planned this part out. He's hired Benin and his boys as muscle to make sure I agree. Well, the odds weren't in my favor. I'm delicate, you know. So Leldon and I argued for a bit, but I wasn't gonna win that one, so I got my tail out of there before Benin got antsy. What's worse is they didn't just take my share. They took everything I had. Did you just get loud? And I wasn't in much of a position to argue, you know? So they robbed you, and now they want to kill you? That seems odd. Oh, well, I couldn't just let things stand as they were. I mean, I am the best. Melton's good, and he gets lucky sometimes, but he can't hold a torch to me. So I broke back into his place, stole all the loot, every last copper, and left a note explaining to him how I got past each one of his traps. I didn't get everything they stole back, especially some of the more precious things. But Leldon probably sold them by now anyway. Too bad. And still, I got back way more than my share. And what happened to all the money? Well, you know, a few coins here, a few coins there. It adds up. I have expenses. And stuff. Well, if they attack you again, I'll do what I can to protect you. Hey, thanks. 
You know, letting you team up with me was a really good decision. I mean, you actually helped me. And you insult me a lot less than the other people do. Before echoing our leader's pledge, next time it would help if we knew there were people hunting you to begin with. And why, since they seem to have their reasons. Oh, please, don't get all mad. Our leader isn't, and he's the one helping me. You're just tagging along, all right? Anyway, about this mess. I guess the Watch will clean these bodies up. Or maybe there will be a rain or something. Let's go. So... That time we should have got a total of three talking to Nishka. Uh, you get one before the fight starts. There. And then, of course, you get one at the very end. Well, you get two. We're telling her to go protect her. So things are going well with me and Nishka. I'm going to take your shit, too. Anyways, that wraps it up. See you soon.